knows that airport food and airline food can be pretty expensive. And on top of that, it's not good. Nine times out of 10, it's not good. And that's why sometimes when I'm traveling, I just prefer to bring my own snacks. And this is actually really great for any of my fellow frugal folks who love to take budget airlines because most of the time those tickets don't include snacks or food and the snacks that they do provide on the plane can be a little pricey for something that you could get at Kroger for like $2. Sometimes carrying your own airline snacks helps you save a little bit of money as well. So hi, my name is Kim and this is K-Rod Collective and on this channel we talk all things travel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about my favorite snacks for the plane. These are all some of the things that I like to bring with me when I have a plane ride and when I'm traveling and they're not just good for the plane. Some of these snacks you can bring on a train, you can bring on a road trip, you can bring if you're traveling by you know by bus, whatever. They're great for all kinds of travel. So before we get started we got to touch on this first. If you didn't know, in 2000, in the year 2000 really, in 2020, in 2020, TSA came out with a new rule for food. As far as I know, this I believe was in response to COVID and I don't know if they're going to change this rule in the future or if this is a permanent rule, but for now it exists and it's in full effect. So they have a new rule regarding bringing food to the airport and going through security. So it used to be that you could bring food and you can put it in your carry-on luggage or in your personal personal item and it didn't matter but now the new rule is that all food needs to be in a large plastic bag and then in order to go through security you then have to take that plastic bag out of your bag and place it in a bin to go through security clear your plastic bag that's important so not just any plastic bag okay so it can't just be like you know a bag from the grocery store it's got to be a clear plastic bag I'm I'm thinking in my head probably the easiest thing would be the those quart size plastic Ziploc bags and apparently food is something that triggers a lot of alarms so when you're traveling from now on and you want to bring snacks on the plane just make sure that when you're packing up your snacks you put them all into a large plastic bag when you're getting all of your stuff ready just remember to take it out of your bag place it in the bin and keep moving when it comes to deciding what snacks I want to bring on the plane this is usually something I do in advance and I like to pack up my snacks the morning of my flight or the night before depending on what it is that I'm bringing but I like to plan it out and make sure I know Know exactly what I'm bringing when it comes to actually deciding what I'm gonna bring on a plane there are a couple of rules that I personally live by and things that I try to keep in mind first of all I try to choose items and foods that are hydrating because being up in the air being on the plane can be very dehydrating and it can really do a number on your skin I try to make sure I'm bringing foods that are gonna hydrate me so I also try to make sure that the foods I bring are foods that are okay to be kept at room temperature or sitting in my bag for several minutes or several hours it's also gonna taste okay on the plane at room temperature as well so another thing I like to keep in mind is other people and I try not to bring anything that's too smelly or too messy so I try to stay away from fish or any kind of pungent cheeses I just nah. anything that's gonna smell and stink up the airplane or it's too messy and it's gonna get everywhere I personally try to avoid bringing those kind of snacks onto the plane last thing I try to think about when I'm thinking about what snacks and foods I want to pack for my flight are I try to pick things that are easy to eat with my hands so things that I don't necessarily need a ton of utensils for that I can just pick up with my hands pop it in my mouth I also like to make sure that I'm packing a paper towel, some napkins, or a reusable napkin that I can also bring with me on my flight. So let's say you've already decided what snacks you wanna bring. How do you actually pack these things? <laughs> so for me, I try to make sure that I am using containers that are right for me. I love to use containers that are easy and reusable. So they don't have a ton of bells and whistles. They don't have a lot of like clips here and there, but they're just really easy. They're reusable. Why I like to use reusable containers is because for me it works both ways so if I'm going on a trip pack snacks and use them on the way to go but let's say on the way back I want to bring some snacks as well I can just reuse whatever containers I was using on my way there I also like to use containers that are really easy to stash in my bag so they're not super bulky so some of the containers that I love to use is I love stasher bags I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of stasher bags Maybe you use them yourself, but they are fantastic and I absolutely love them for just packing snacks in general. They're also really great for travel. They're dishwasher safe, they're microwavable safe. You can get different colors. They come in a ton of different um, varieties, but I love the clear ones. And I think with this new TSA rule about putting all your food in a clear plastic bag, I think these will help a lot because they're already pretty clear. And so if you're putting this 
into a clear plastic bag, I think maybe I'm totally making this up and maybe your chances of getting pulled over and inspected even further, your chances of that will go down because it's already pretty clear and they can see what's inside. I'm, I'm just making that up. If you're a TSA agent, comment below. Let me know if I'm just like totally off off the rails here. I will say though, that if you have cats, you're a cat person, depending on your cat's personality and what they like or they may not like, these might not be safe around them because my cat, she loves any kind of plastic silicone-y material and they're not cheap at least not cheap to me. I had a stasher bag once that was just drying on a, you know, one of those dish drying racks. And my cat came around and just like, <laughs> just was like chomping at it and biting it. And next thing I know, I pick it up and there's like bite marks all around here. There's holes at the bottom. I had to throw it out. If your cat's anything like mine, these are not safe around them. I'll also leave links for everything that I'm talking about so that if you want to check them out too, you can, and I'll just leave it below. Another thing I like to use is I've been using this very thing for a few years now, but I love these kind of go stack containers. They're fantastic. And I mean, they're great not only for food and snacks, but they're also really great for other things too, like vitamins. I like to put a lot of dry things in there. Raisins, dates, nuts, those kind of things are really great in the go stack containers. Oh, they're also really great for like nut butters and things Things like that they are BPA free another thing I love is beeswax they're really great for wrapping wraps and sandwiches and fruit you can wrap fruit in it if you want I get a lot of mine on Etsy that's where I love to buy mine but you can buy them at so many different places I'll leave the link down below of where I get them this one I've clearly used quite a few times fruit and flowers because who doesn't love fruit and flowers I know I do so those are just the reusable items that I love to use to pack my airplane snacks and my travel snacks. So like I said before, they're also really great, not just for the plane, for any kind of travel that you're doing. So if you're loving this video so far, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to this channel, and definitely hit that notification bell so you know whenever I have a new upload. All right, so snack ideas. Mm. There are so many things that you can pack, honestly, guys. Get creative with it. Think about the things that you like, your dietary restrictions, and just get into it. So I'm just gonna give you a couple of ideas, some snacks that I like to bring with me on the plane that I find pretty easy to bring, not too smelly, not too messy. So no matter where you live, you should be able to find most of these items at your local grocery store or wherever it is that you like to shop. So. Let's, let's get into that right now. Okay, so first up, sandwiches. I know sandwiches can sometimes be a hit or miss and some people kinda try to stay away from sandwiches because if you have any sort of sauce, if it sits for a while, the bread can get soggy. But if I am making a sandwich, to avoid getting the bread soggy and wet, I'll put whatever sauce I want in the middle. Does that make sense? <laughs> I really hope it does. That's what I like to do if I'm packing a sandwich, but I think that sandwiches are really great. You could have tempeh, I love tempeh sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. Also, something really great is wraps. I love to make veggie hummus wraps. I also really love bringing nuts. They're really easy to pack for the plane because they are dry, you can eat them with your hands, they're not messy. Now, there's all sorts of really cool flavored nuts that you can buy now. I personally love the flavored almonds. The salt and vinegar ones are my personal favorite. They're so good. I love some cashews and pistachios as well. Another thing that I find is a really great snack for the plane is fresh fruit. So I love packing fresh fruit as snacks for the plane. Another super easy no fuss snack. Bananas, apples. I also love berries, dates. I love dates. Dates are another good one. Especially those big medjool dates. Those are my favorite. So I like to eat apples and bananas with nut butters, peanut butter or almond butter. You can just slice the apples and put them in a stasher bag. They've also got these really cool individual size almond butter packets. And those are really great as well. Just grab one of those, bring that on the plane with you. So there's something else kind of weird that I like to make. Open face cracker sandwich thing. I made it up, but I love to eat it. There are these um, crackers. If you live in the States and you have a Trader Joe's near you, I like to get mine at Trader Joe's, but you can use any kind of cracker that you want. Roast up a little onion. You can roast up some mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, hummus. Honestly, you can put anything you want on there and I just kind of make a little open face sandwich with it. And I like it, I don't know, I just figured maybe if I like it, you might like it too. And I personally don't mind, they get a tiny bit soft. I don't mind that at all. If you really want that crunchy firm texture, then you can maybe pack all these things separately and assemble it on the plane, but 
that might be a little bit much. I wrap it all up in a beeswax wrap and I'm ready. It's something easy to try. Bars, bars are also really easy to just kind of throw in your bag. Again, gotta make sure it's in that plastic bag, especially for short flights, you know, when you get a little bit like peckish and you just, you don't want a full meal, but you just want something that's gonna tie you over until you get to your destination bars are where it's at. So definitely leave a comment below and let me know your favorite airline snack. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week. Bye. <sighs> I don't know why I start talking at hyper speed and I don't know why. I feel like I get so hyper and so excited about sharing all this information. You see what I'm talking about? It's just, it's just like comes out so fast. I have these moments where I'm just completely out of breath and my gosh, <laughs> I'm falling. I'm such a weirdo.